There are so many questions right now about the cuts to National Institute of Health funding, the impact it might have on important medical research. To find out the answer to those questions, we came to the Vankovich lab here at Vanderbilt University. These are a lot of structural biology labs, so a lot of the work that we do is trying to get structures of proteins. This is where millions in NIH grants are spent. Researchers looking for new, better ways to save lives. Stephanie Vankovich, I am an assistant professor of molecular physiology and biophysics at Vanderbilt University. And this is a rare look inside her lab where they work to develop new drugs. To treat cancer or neurodegenerative disease or heart disease. Vankovich wants people to see how the money is spent and what the proposed cut of millions in grants to the research universities would mean. This is incredibly serious. Vankovich echoes a recent letter sent to Tennessee's congressional delegation from Vanderbilt and other research universities. Put simply, this new policy would devastate biomedical research across the United States, including the significant presence we have built in Tennessee. Vankovich says cuts will stunt the development of new drugs and says many current drugs are on the market because of NIH funding. For instance, GLP-1 inhibitors like Ozempic. That was originally discovered by studying snake venom. It was a completely basic biomedical project of which there was no explanation that this was going to be an incredible breakthrough drug. That list of drugs goes on and on, from new antibiotics to cancer treatments. If the massive cuts happen... And this is just going to delay our ability to get life-saving treatments into the American people's hands. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.